Hello everyone. We are going to look at how to create a recurring transaction in QuickBooks Online. And a recurring transaction is a transaction that occurs periodically and automatically. So you set it up one time and then it will automatically be recorded in QuickBooks Online based on the period that you set. So let's take a look at how we would do that. Let's go to sales on the left hand side. We are going to make an invoice a recurring transaction. So if we go to all sales, we'll see a list of the sales that we have in the system. Uh, or alternatively, you can simply just create a new invoice by going to new invoice, entering the details. Uh, and then from there, you can create a recurring transaction in the same way. So let's go to adversary company, click on that and uh, click on edit invoice. And here, adversary company needs a bunch of bugs every month. Uh, so we are going to invoice them on a monthly basis uh, and we don't want to go through the bother of having to set it up each time. So we're simply going to make it recurring. So QuickBooks Online has a very handy little button on the transaction that says to make it recurring. Alternatively, it might be under more and there's various other things here as well. Uh, so let's click on make recurring. And here you will have the options. So the template name could simply be the name for adversary company. It could be, you could add bugs to it so you know exactly what it relates to. Type is scheduled, or you can have a reminder, or you could simply set up a template and then uh, go in and enter it when you want. You can create it a uh, number of days in advance or the day of. I prefer to keep it the day of. Uh, the customer email address, uh, you can choose to automatically send the emails or once it occurs, you can simply go in and send it manually. The automatically send emails is a good option unless you want control over the process. So I'm going to, I like to have control over the process. So I'm going to leave this unchecked. If you're set up for online payments, you can um, include that and have the uh, invoice be paid directly uh, via credit card. So this is where you set up the recurrence. I want it to happen mon monthly and I want it to happen on the last day of the month. So I scroll all the way down and click on last. So this will ensure that whatever the last day is, whether it's the 31st of August or the 28th of February, it will be sent out or at least created on the last day of the month. Of every month, this could be one month, two months, three months, and your interval could also be daily, weekly, annually if you want. Uh, so there are different ways to set it up. I want the first invoice to go out on September 30th, so that will be my start date. And the end, this is going to be for the next uh, three months. So the end date I'm going to choose will be December 1st, which is the day after November 30th. Uh, the billing address terms, this is all the usual uh, invoice features that you can enter. Uh, the location is Ontario and these are the details of the invoice. I can change whatever I want. Maybe I want to make this five bucks a month and it'll update the totals. The HST is automatic, and then I can include whatever else I want. Once uh, everything is done to my satisfaction, I would simply save the template. So once I've saved the template, I would simply go to the gear section up here, click on recurring transactions, which is under lists. And here I see adversary company bugs. So it's, I see that it's scheduled to go out every month. 
Uh, this is the first month, so there's no previous date, but the next date is reflected here. In addition to this recurring transaction, which will automate this invoice will be automatically created on a monthly basis. I have some other options from here. I can use this between months anytime I want. It's a template. So if I click on use, it will just come up automatically. And then I can change the date. I can change whatever details I want. And then I can save and send it or simply save it. Other options are to duplicate it. So if, again, this is sim similar to using it, it creates a copy of the invoice and I can update the details. I can pause a month or two, say I want to give adversary company a break or they don't actually really need bugs in December because it's ho holiday season and they don't like bugging their clients during holiday season and I can pause it. I can skip the next date or I can delete the template. So that is how you set up recurring transactions in QuickBooks. I hope this was helpful. If you would like me to make more videos like this about any issues that you're having with QuickBooks Online, please leave a comment and I will try my best to do it. And in the meantime, please like, subscribe, and have a great day.